Hey Beauty Warriors, welcome back to Battle Tested Beauty. Today I just wanted to get ready, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. So I'm just gonna talk a lot and put my makeup on. I'll put everything that I'm putting on my face down in the description bar. And let's get to chatting, I guess. Let's talk, let's talk a little tiny bit. You might be following my channel because you're a friend of mine, thank you, I love you. Um, you might be following my channel because you really love makeup. You might be following my channel because you are sweaty and into fitness and you want makeup for that regardless of why you're following my channel thank you very much for subscribing and uh if you're just here popping in hi my name's nicole i try to review makeup and sometimes i test it out in sweaty settings and uh we get the lowdown on makeup that stands up against greasy skin oily skin sweaty skin all that kind of jam my my area my my sweatiness of choice is brazilian jiu-jitsu if you're interested in like self-defense or anything like that, don't go to self-defense classes. Join jiu-jitsu, jiu join Brazilian jiu-jitsu women. It's a bigger commitment than, you know, like showing up to a couple freaking, you know, like a three week program or something like that on the weekends, but uh, you get quite a bit more out of it, like by a landslide. But one of the reasons why I think that Brazilian jiu-jitsu is like ace for women is because it just, it teaches you more of a better relationship with your body. Confidence. And it actually teaches you a good relationship with your, your own weight. It takes your body from being an object and turns it into a machine. A machine that you want to take really freaking good care of. Like, just mentally, for your good mental health. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ladies. And then as far as, like, self-defense is concerned, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is one of the best. I'm not going to sit here and be that guy that's like, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the absolute best and it's not all that... That's just not true. That's absolutely not true. And, and any system is only as good as the practitioner that's using it. One of the things that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu excels at is using leverage more than anything too. It's also just kind of like putting people that wouldn't otherwise be on the ground, on the ground, and they don't know what the heck they're doing. So uh, you're already at kind of an advantage by being able to grapple. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is wicked for women because it uses a lot of leverage and a lot of joint attacks, which don't necessarily always require a massive amount of strength. There's like this lie that people tell in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's not so much of a lie as it's like a selling buzzword. It says that, uh, you know, like Jiu-Jitsu does, or size doesn't matter in Jiu-Jitsu, right? Like Jiu-Jitsu is for little people. And uh, in a way, that's true, but in a way, that's actually just kind of like ignoring the fact that you get strong by doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That said, I mean, if you are 120 pounds and some dude just tries to like grab you on the street, regardless of his size, chances are you can probably get below his center of gravity, get under him and chuck them over your back with your shoulder or a hip toss or something like that. Like any of that kind of shit. And then you can just book it if you got a girl. Because you got that cardio now. Because you've been rolling, doing jiu-jitsu. And I don't want to just like try and encourage women to start chucking men. But I mean, men would probably be a hell of a lot less grabby if it was a reality that women would just freaking toss them on their heads if they did that. Usually Brazilian jiu-jitsu is kind of like that combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell type of thing. So usually if you have a jiu-jitsu gym, it's also a Muay Thai gym or, you know, like something else. You usually get like a lot of value out of your memberships when you join a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gym. Anyways, when I joined Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I'd already started getting like kind of physical and stuff. And I'd started in something called Kapap, which is basically Krav Maga. I liked it. It was fun. I, uh, I trained under a guy named Don Gao, but um, a friend of mine, Nick Farah, the fairy jits mother, if you will, got me into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu after like... I don't know, like eight months of wearing me down. Finally, I'm like, oh, okay, 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 I'll find, 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 find. So I had all these hangups. The environment of most Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gyms is really freaking respectful. Your hangups are cool. Like, have your hangups. Like, we all have our hangups, we all have our traumas, and we all have the way that we deal with our traumas. But the beautiful healing part about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is that you get to face those in a really good environment, like in a safe environment. In a supportive environment. Maybe not everybody understands what your hang-ups are. The environment is really, really good for the most part. I mean, it varies from gym to gym, but I walked in feeling kind of like standoffish. And by the time I was done my very first Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class, like I should you not my very first one, like those proximity problems seemed silly to me. Afterwards, I was like, I can't believe I gave a shit about that. Like I actually get to fucking beat up men. So Jiu-Jitsu kind of takes that and they're like, 
cool. Just set that aside for a minute and let's let's learn how to fight. I'm not going to say it's going to be like that for everybody, but I felt silly because it never occurred to me to face that kind of hang up in that fashion, you know, to actually like just dive right into it and just say, screw you hang ups. We're just going to face you entirely. So seven years later, deeply in love with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, evangelizing to every woman I know, please go join Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So yeah, where was I? I was evangelizing about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's where I was and for the most part. I have had nothing but amazingly wonderful, like, just great experiences training with dudes in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There has been problems, though. Like, I've not experienced any problems really myself. Like, it's some stupid things, but, like, it's just, like, people that are passing through that aren't part of the gym that have, like, done or said something dumb. You know, like, we have uh, Lloyd Irvin Jr., for instance. But yeah, that's something you might want to look up into. Uh, there's some pretty bad stuff that came out of his gym. And uh, that's stuff that, you know, you should know about if you're interested in getting into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But it's it's rare. It's an outlier. It's not common or anything like that. So, yeah. Size. I keep I keep like talking about size and then going off on a tangent. Under 150 pounds, you do kind of struggle a little tiny bit depending on the gym that you're at. <laughs> but I think that's kind of the issue for guys and girls. Like, it's just a thing. So, it is a bit of a, like a, a lie when they say that uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a great like size differentiator. Or size equalizer or some shit like that. You got to work harder if you're smaller. That's all there is to it, but you just get better benefits out of it. And if you train smart, you don't get hurt. You have this white belt spaz thing that people talk about where they're just using all their strength. And that's usually where other people get hurt too is when white belts are spazzing out and they don't know their own strength. And they're trying to apply, you know, techniques that they don't understand yet or don't know how to stop or don't know how to, you know, apply correctly. It's part of the struggles, part of the, the journey is to deal with the white belts and be a white belt is you know like that's that's a humbling part too is to kind of be okay with sucking at something it's very very humbling to suck at something and to be okay with sucking at something and to stick with something despite sucking at it but yeah get comfortable with sucking at something in front of other people and you will learn a type of humility that you aren't commonly taught that's a, I don't mean to be like, that's a humble. But like, yo, if you, if, if you can consistently suck at something and come back every single day and try again and keep working at it, that's something, that's something you can't, you can't buy that. The reason why I like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu over self-defense classes is because you are drilling it at full speed. So you're drilling at full power, you're drilling your techniques at full speed, and that's what rolling is. That's kind of a really important aspect to getting good at something. So you gotta practice it. It's like it's practice. You gotta still practice this kind of stuff. If anybody's, if you've ever taken like a kickboxing class or a boxing class or like, you know, like you've, you've trained and then you go and spar, that is a completely different freaking beast. It's totally different than training and drilling and all that kind of stuff. When you're hitting bags and pads and then you go and put it live with a moving object that's not that doesn't want you to do those things to them it's a completely different beast and that's why i think that you know like any kind of sport that or martial art pardon me that you would spar in regularly that is a valuable self defense tool and not something that's just going to show you a couple techniques and you don't get to use it weekly you know like Anybody that's telling you that they can just show you a technique and you're not using it every single day, every single time, and that you're supposed to be good at it, they're lying to you, like, recklessly. Yeah? This might be completely whack. I don't know. I don't know if that was a good idea. That was probably a bad idea. So my favorite thing about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, though, is the relationship that I gained with my body from it. And, I like, of all the things that... <clears throat> Of all the things that I would like try and encourage women to get into jujitsu over, that that is the number one. That is the thing. Get a new relationship with your body. We have such ill communication with our body from such a young age. Your relationship with your body becomes so much more practical. You know, you might need to cut weight for a competition, but you will probably never spend a whole bunch of time agonizing over your weight ever again. You know, like are you a big girl? If you're a big girl, you're going to have a phenomenal time in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Like, bitch, you are going to fucking smash all the smaller people. You so Yeah, once you get into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the fact that you are big is really good. It's really helpful. Big girl in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, we want you to come. 
And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, join jiu-jitsu and lose weight. Because, I mean, frankly, you probably will. But that's not the fucking point. You can be an athlete and you don't even realize that that's something that you can do. Like every one of you. So now that I've just evangelized jiu-jitsu to death to every woman, let me talk to you a little bit about the downsides of doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Some really stupid training philosophies in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I kind of, well, a machismo, rather. That mentality is to train through pain, not go to the doctor. <laughs> about stuff and this is a really dangerous combination for women we have a tendency to minimize our needs when it comes to going to the doctor but in some situations you can get kind of caught up in trying to be tough you know and be as tough as the rest of the guys and be as tough as you know all these people that have been training for a decade or something like that but the reality is they're not talking about their you know, like their misplaced discs and stuff like that in their neck and like chronic elbow pain and stuff because they train stupid. You know, like they trained like it was ADCC, which is a really big um, competition for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, like they train like that every day. And that's cool and all, but it's really dumb for your body. And it's not very nice to the people that you train with either. So, I mean, there are some downsides to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in that you can really hurt yourself. And you cannot realize the extent of how badly you've hurt yourself until years down the line. Which is something that happened to me. I shouldn't say happened to me. Something that I allowed to happen to me. Because I've always had a really, really, really uncomfortable relationship with going to the doctor. I don't like going to the doctor. Um, I'm like straight up, I'm scared that they're going to tell me that I have made up my injury. It's like irrational fear that I have. Compounded with... The mentality that, oh, you're fine, you just gotta, you know, like, take a day off or something like that, you know, but really, like, your neck is fucked up or something like that, you fuck something up on your neck, you slipped a disc or some shit. Like, that's actually, you know, like, alarmingly kind of common. <laughs> but, I mean, this is, that's avoidable, for the most part, by simply training smart and treat getting treatment immediately. Have I scared you off of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu yet? I hope not. Nicole trained stupid. And it's actually slowed me down a lot too. I've had to take a lot of time off of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And this is why I say that this is, it has everything to do with the individual and how you train. Because I got my blue belt on the same day as, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of other people. And they're all, you know, almost brown belts at this point. But me having taken a whole bunch of time off from training, I'm still a blue belt. It burns to know that I could have been putting all this time in, but I took the time off instead. And I, I don't regret taking... Actually, I do kind of regret taking the time off. I wish I had just gone and dealt with my injuries. <laughs> That's my big regret. It's not the, the sport itself. It's how you train that can get you injured with it. You know, another thing that uh, that women really benefit from from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I've heard this, like, so many freaking times, is that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu can teach a lot of women how to have relationships with women. Like, how to have good friendships with women. And I'm not going to say that I've loved every single woman in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that I've met. Or that I'm still friends with every single woman that I became friends with. I also met my dearest friends. Like, some of my closest freaking friends on earth through Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know if you ever did, but I remember saying in my teen years, I find it so much easier to be friends with men. Women are bitches. Women are hard to be friends with. So on and so forth. And... I like I'm I, again I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever I don't know what the basis of that is but it's I'm gonna I'm gonna go as far as to say it's insecurity in a sense um, patriarchy playing women against each other and you become part of a team when you join Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and the level of trust that's required to be able to roll with somebody and know that they're not gonna try and like break your knee. You learn how to trust women on a different level. I've had one really close, meaningful friendship up until, you know, the time I was like 28. One really close, meaningful female friendship. I love you, Megan. It was always a struggle to try and maintain those kind of female friendships. And it didn't take too long of training before I met, you know, some amazing, amazing women, you know, that I will take with me for the rest of my life. Like, oh, getting close, home stretch. See, my eyes have been using these surprisingly good dupes for Natasha Denona palettes from um, C Color, I think it's called. They're pretty good. Like, I've been rolling through this Savannah palette, which I'm 
pretty sure is supposed to be the safari palette. The tropical palette, which is supposed to be a dupe for the tropics palette. And then the golden palette, which is supposed to be a dupe for the gold palette. All of these are lovely. And they were only $7. <laughs> winners, man. I'm telling you, winners and marshals, that's the way to go. I had to scour the city for these. But, I mean, they're dope. I put, put swatches up on my Instagram of these. But, like, oh, I like it. I'm, oh, hey, did I mention how great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is for women? I have this dream that I'm going to go on vacation one day to a beach. And I'm going to walk out to the beach, to the sand, and go, Does anybody want to roll? And there's going to be like 15 people pop their heads up and they're like, yes, I was hoping. I don't know why that's a dream of mine, but it's a dream of mine. It's something I really, <laughs> I really want to happen one day. Something I don't like about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the, uh, is the heightened chances of getting skin conditions. <laughs> Turns out there's a huge world of bacteria. Dermatitis. There we go. They just call it dermatitis. You know, which is kind of like a generalized term for skin condition. They don't ever tell you what the bacteria is, for the most part, unless it's like something really crazy, like staph or whatever. But uh, yeah, they won't tell you what it is. They're just like, you have dermatitis. And you gotta put some stuff on your skin, whatever. But there's this stuff called defense soap that's uh, it's made out in California. So its main ingredients is tea tree oil, which is really helpful for treating and preventing um, skin conditions. So some of the major ones that you can get in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that scare the shit out of me are ringworm and staphylococcus, also impetigo. It's, I guess you can say Jiu Jitsu is kind of dirty, same thing with wrestling, but it's just, a, it's an environment that, you know, is conducive to, uh, to the breeding of bacteria. Most gyms are very diligent about cleaning their mats. It's really, it's the other people that you train with that are kind of like the, the hot spots. It, it does happen, but typically it's not the gym's fault. I don't, I don't ever blame the gym if I, uh, if I ever get like an infection or something like that. I keep like saying all these awful things that might happen to you Brazilian Jiu Jitsu while also being like, you should join Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> but like, honestly, it really isn't that much of a threat. It's not really a threat. Don't worry too much about that. But yeah, defense soap and like defense products are amazing. I freaking love them. It's tea tree oil based um, astringents and soaps and creams and you know, preventative things, wipes and stuff like that. And that made such a huge difference for me. You just wash up with that afterwards and no more problems. You never get a problem. Yeah, I know I've spent this entire get ready with me talking about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Hope that's what you signed up for. But I am nuts about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I really, 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 really strongly encourage women to get into it, regardless of whatever size you are. If you're small, you're going to get skills to deal with bigger opponents. You're going to get strength that you might not have otherwise had. If you're big, girl, this is where you belong. Big people definitely excel in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, big women especially. You're going to be at the top of your size categories for the most part too and if you are interested in weight loss i mean that does kind of come with it i don't know maybe it's selfish reasons i really want to see more women in jiu-jitsu because i want to train with more women like i want more women to love their bodies the way that i love my body now if you would ask me when i was 13 do you think you'll ever love your body and i would never have seen myself enjoying my body the way that i do it's a machine and i'm so bloody grateful for the mentality that martial arts and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in general has given me to, to come to see myself in that way. I'm a machine. I'm not an object. Maybe I'm sexy, but I don't give a fuck. Guess what? I can dislocate your shoulder. And I'm really fucking proud of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw a quick lip on and I think we're gonna call it. Mm -mm. I do kind of envy, um, it's the nature of kickboxing and that you can wear makeup <laughs> without getting like incredibly jacked up. Jiu Jitsu not so much, not so much with Jiu Jitsu. But you definitely should check out my video. I don't know how to link videos, so I'm not gonna try and link it in there, but um, the video I did a couple months ago where I tested out Estee Lauder double wear against rolling against a, a brown belt. We were like, we had fun light rolls and everything like that. It was realistic within the limits of foundation. But it, it lived really, really nicely. Okay, guys.
That's it. I'm calling it. Got my face on. I'm done. And I've talked your ear off, mostly about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Hey. Okay, thank you so much for joining with me, guys, while I get ready and talk your ear off about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I really, 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 really strongly do encourage all women to join Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, regardless of your age, your size, your ability. I mean, there's not too many limits to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. There's limits, but there's not too many limits in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You can adapt it to all sorts of stuff. Go at your own pace, go at your own speed, go at your own level, but get good, get good, get strong, get terrifying. Ladies, get, do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I love you. Just do it. I want an army. I want a freaking army of powerful women. But anyways, that's my, uh, my dark nemesis goals. Thanks for joining me. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.